Hey everybody, Dr. Wessel Couch here with another math and Minecraft episode. If you couldn't tell from the preview, today we're going to talk about the math of war. In particular, do Lanchester's laws apply to fighting in Minecraft? Alright, let's get started. During World War I, Frederick Lanchester devised a series of differential equations to demonstrate the power relationships between opposing forces. Roughly speaking, if your soldiers fight at close range, the power of your army is proportional to the size of your army. This is Lanchester's linear law. However, if your soldiers fight at long range, the power of your army is proportional to the square of the size of your army. This is Lanchester's square law. I'm not going to talk about the differential equations today. If you're interested in seeing more about the differential equations, head on over to Tom Rocks Math's YouTube channel. There's a great video covering the topic. There will be a link in the description. The video on Tom's channel was actually my inspiration for making today's video, so check it out. Today we're going to be looking at battles between Iron Golems and Vindicators. These mobs don't have any long range attacks, so all of the combat will be at a close range. Since their attacks are close range, we would expect Lanchester's linear law to hold for battles between these two mobs. Our first battle will be between three Iron Golems and 12 Vindicators. May the best team win. Since the Vindicators won, we can conclude that the fighting power for an army of 12 Vindicators is greater than the fighting power of an army for three Iron Golems. If Lanchester's linear laws hold in Minecraft, we would expect an army of Vindicators to beat an army of Iron Golems whenever the size of the army of Vindicators is four times the size of the army of Iron Golems. So we're going to test this by having 29 Iron Golems fight 116 Vindicators. Notice that the ratio of their army sizes is 1 to 4. So we would expect the Vindicators to win. May the best team win. As you can see, the Iron Golems won this one. That's the opposite of what Lanchester's Laws predicted. Like most models, Lanchester's Laws are best when the army sizes are big, so we really shouldn't be that surprised with the results of today's battle. Our army sizes were pretty small. Anyway, if you want to learn more about Lanchester's Laws, head on over to Tom Rock's Maths video. And while you're there, tell them Dr. Wesselcouch sent you. Let me know if you have any ideas for a future Math and Minecraft episode. I always love hearing from you. And share this video with your friends. It really helps me grow my channel. Smash the like button before you get out of here. Alright, bye bye.